Oh, wait, it's actually, actually, it's Grim there. <laughs> Welcome to the Freakers Ball, folks. It's Friday evening, January 24th, 2020. Oh, boy, we have rolled around for another week here. And tonight, we actually get the uh, Moose Girl going to join us here on the show. So that'll be fun. That'll be fine and dandy. Yes, and uh, Dede, she will be on in a bit. She has Zach there giving her a massage. Must be nice to have your own uh, home brought up masseuses, masseurs. <laughs> this girl's son Zach is yeah, trying to fix a fix a little kink in her neck there. Uh, anyway, welcome to the show, folks. This is the Freakers Ball. It is Friday night, as I mentioned, and we are live right here on RealLibertyMedia dot com, uh, and also on Vaughn dot live slash RealLibertyMedia. That's for the video feed. The audio feed is going out as well, all over the place, like RLMRadio.xyz, FreedomsNetwork.com, RealLiberty.org, a host of other places, uh, not the least of which is Shoutcast.com, uh, but there are plenty of others too. So uh, welcome to everybody out there in all the various places you may be tuned in from. Your best bet is the video feed, whether that's on the RealLibertyMedia.com Freakers Ball show page or... Von dot live slash really with the media. Either one. That's that's got the video feed there and and you know, we play videos here, so it's cool <laughs> to watch the videos. In my view, in my opinion. And who am I except just somebody that runs the show here? Um <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna say hi and howdy to all the folks over here on IRC in the uh, on IRC dot free note that net in the chat room that we have here, pound pound real liberty media. Because we got all kinds of great folks here. Yes, indeed, yeah, we do. We got the barman himself. Yes, the lovely bot of mine. Uh, the um, My oldest friend on IRC. Yeah, because I made him. <laughs> and we got Beetle and Cowboy Tick. Cowboy Tick! Beetle, you awake still? Myself and the Moose Girl are here as well. Uh, Miss Kate, yes, the lovely Miss Kate. Uh, Mr. Anti, not anti Theocon any longer. Asmo, uh, Chalcedony, Echelon, I, I beat Don C is with us. Yeah, those of you that know, know better. But he's here, whether in spirit or some other manner. Uh, we have the Java Doctor in Meester, Meister, Mooster, Brow. What happened there? I clicked something and it changed channels on me uh <laughs> we got poopster and prince uh yeah prince that did his show last night that he does the power hour uh with, with uh, zippix and uh the rotten socks ones pretty good show there mr rob works hey rob how you doing man uh Rome's, who's uh figuring out things on how much money he would have if what he had was not was something other than what he has <laughs> you got Vanna White and the Weather Dark Pots, the Phantom Joe out Miss Circle, hey Circle, how are you? Uh, Cookie Crazy, Cookie Crazy. I'm not sure who Cookie Crazy is, but I think it's CC66 actually uh, going under the Cookie Crazy tag there. The Cyborgian Noodle, Cyborg, who uh, throws up some interesting stuff quite often. Uh, he's got a little help from a friend, but I'm not going to say who that is. Uh, we got the E-Man, an N-Civ, the Frumpstar, the Kanakistanian, uh, Gromit. Uh, no, Frumpy is the Kanakistanian, not Gromit. JJ is the Scottistanian. Scottistanian? All right. Uh, we have Kiss and Pone Sauce. Yeah, uh, the uh, Sock Puppet himself, the one and only Sock Puppet. SLC Mike over there in Utard. Slim Jim Flim in New Hampshire, the smart ass, the holiest of Rogers, and Mr. Zippix. Zippix. <laughs> uh, that's the crew that's here in the chat tonight. Um, you could be here with us in the, in the chat. It's really easy to get here to the chat. If you have an IRC client of your own, just connect up to Freenode 
and type in Pound Pound Real Liberty Media, and boom, you'll be in here, or join Pound Pound Real Liberty Media, uh, or, or you can go there through the website, the reallibertymedia.com, or rlmradio.xyz uh, websites. Uh, they both work. They both work fine. Uh, as far as getting here, there's a chat applet on each of those, as well as right there directly on the Freakers Ball Show page, there's the chat applet as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah there's, there's so many ways to get here. Come on over. Jump on in. The water's fine. All right. <laughs> prior to the show, uh, just prior to the show, uh, Miss Kate asked me, uh, no word from Hal yet? Because uh, those of you that know, know that Hal was uh, not around last weekend to do his Sunday afternoon program, uh, which he's very consistent about doing. And he don't care what day it is. It don't matter if it's Christmas or his mother's birthday or anything. He's always here, always doing his show. So anyway, yesterday I sent him off a little email, and I, I said, just checking on you, uh, any internet yet, any power, how's things? So uh, he he replied to me, uh, yeah, interwebs accessible about two days ago, trying to catch up with people in projects. We did have a minor miracle on Saturday afternoon, previous Saturday, uh, as the power was restored. I was sitting here at noon o'clock Pacific, Sunday Till the last moment to hook up for the broadcast. Didn't do any good without interweb access till Wednesday afternoon. Uh, reminds me how much into digital life I won't be going. And it's gone. So he will, according to this article here, or this uh, uh, email here, will be doing the broadcast Sunday as usual, barring any complication. Um He did notice an email comment regarding a missing... Oh, that's something else. Never mind that. Anyway, so he should be here, um, barring any complication, on, on this coming Sunday, uh, at his normal time. Uh, so, um, yeah, hooray. Get Hal back for us, or with us here on the Sunday. What's that? Somebody's farting in the water? What? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, what now? Somebody is farting in the water. I, 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 oh, you called? I didn't see you call. You didn't call? Let me look at my, let me look at my wire here. Oh, it's trying to reconnect. Wire is not connected for some reason. I, I don't know why. Um, let me close my wire and then, um, We'll try it again. I, I don't know. It may have been ringing on your end, but mine had a little circle-y thingy there going on. <laughs> so uh, something something was amiss in my wire. I don't know what that was, and I, so I didn't know you were you were trying to call. I didn't see the chat thing going on because uh, uh, I was reading from another another page there. So. Um, going on here it wants me to log in you never want me to log in all right um who am i i gotta remember my damn login <laughs> yeah you know, i'm always logged in that's an invalid input it says invalid input hang on a second here this will take just a moment um <laughs> i hope because uh, yeah, I um, I don't know why why wire would not uh, wire would want me to log in again. Let's see here. Do I have this in here? I do. Oh, okay. There's my. Yeah, let me all log in. Oh, oh no. I, I, all right. All right. I, uh, yeah. I am not Remedy. Yeah. I am this, and my password is not what I put in there. It is totally something else. So let's try this here. And this should get me in there, I suppose. <laughs> and the little circle is going around. Unexpected error. Unexpected error? Um, okay, let me try with the email. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try that. Okay, okay, I got another trick. Got another trick up my sleeve here. <laughs> right. Where where is it here? Here it is. Settings. <laughs> right. I don't think it's in there yet, right? 
Yeah, no, it's not. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll exclude it and see if that helps. Sometimes, uh, depending on uh, what uh, VPN um, thing I'm using, uh, it may or may not like what I'm doing. So, um, okay, I have excluded it. Let me exit wire and go back into it. Is this is this exciting radio yet? Is this an exciting show yet? <laughs> right. Oh man. All right, let's try this now. You see with the uh with the uh PIA VPN that I use, um, I can uh exclude applications from using the VPN connection. Um, let's, let's hope that's what it was and not an issue on wires and unexpected error what the hell there's something wrong with wire here let's see here um, something's wrong it's not it's not letting me connect I, I don't I don't know um, let me exit uh, try and exit wire again I, I don't know um, well, you know, we haven't, uh, we should have maybe connected on the wire ahead of time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try one more time here on this and see what the hell. Invalid, unexpected input. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's not doing it. Um, it's not letting me in for some reason. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll tell you what, Moose. I will. Uh, I will play some music and try and figure this thing out during the set. Because uh, yeah, for some reason it's it's just input invalid error unexpected. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I have to restart? No, I don't have to restart. <laughs> Why is the only thing not doing what I want it to? Um, so, let's see here. Settings. Oh, you know what? Sometimes, let me try this other one thing here. I, I've had this work for me before. And uh, we'll, we'll see here. Connect on that, baby. Connect on that, baby. Unexpected error. Let me try. And uh, there is a um, there is a deal here. Let me, let me try and log in over here on the website. <laughs> okay. All right. No, it is not a public computer. Okay. No, everything looks good. It logged in over there. I don't want to remove a device. Remove one of your other devices to start using wire on this one. What now? Uh, all right. I'll throw that one out. Oh, I have to put my password in to throw it out. All right. Okay, let's try this here. Um, whatever. Yeah. Okay. If nothing else, I guess I could do it that way. Uh, but let me try it over here again. Is it going to let me in? No. No, it's not. All right. All right, let me, let me just let me just try one more one 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 more one more time. Wait, wait, is it going to load? Hang on. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right. 
No, it's not letting me in still. All right, let me just quit it. Um, uh, let me check my settings over here. Uh, and uh, if nothing else, um, yeah, okay. Uh, if nothing else, then, uh, okay, that's good. And uh, speakers, all right. All right, that, that should work. I think it should work. Um, I, I'm going to try and give you a call, Moose, here via the the website wire. The website wire. <laughs> hey, Mike, how you doing? Uh, do you hear the ringing, Moose? Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Is it ringing on your end? Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -da. Hola! Hola! Oh, shit, I'm on speakers now. I had it set to headset. Oh, okay. my God. Well, for whatever reason, I uh, had to connect up through the uh, wire website rather than through my local client. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Weird. What's that noise in the background? That's Jackson with this toy. <laughs> so, sorry. That's all right. I'll take it away from him as soon as I can. And I apologize to all you folks about the... Uh, technical issues and delay there. Hey, Vinny! So, uh... Yeah. And those of you that missed the opening little bit, yes, yeah, Hal will Hal will be back on Sunday. So it's gonna work. Well, uh, There's a reason why he did not have that toy, and then I was looking for something else, and it fell to the ground, and he grabbed it. <laughs> like, he did not have that toy for a reason. I put it away. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. No, no. Okay. <laughs> That's a crazy sound. All right. It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, all right. Well, okay. anyway, let, let me go ahead and play we'll some music. Play some music. I'll get the toy away. Yeah. We'll get back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. With any luck. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, where, where were you when this song was, well, not quite number one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just what the doctor ordered, baby. <laughs> Ken Nugent, man. Oh, you know, I may not like him personally and a lot of his politics, but... Uh, he's, a, he's a great showman up there on stage. <laughs> just, just what the doctor ordered. Before that, we had the Doors doing right around the storm. That there was a Moose Girl request, and we kicked it off with B-52s doing Planet Claire from 1979. Yeah, we know exactly when it was now because people looked it up there in the chat for us. <laughs> Moose Girl, are you with us? Are you here? Am I talking to myself? Check, check, check. Moose girl, moose girl. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, no, we're still connected. Everything should be good. Moosey. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, yeah, good. Let me go to headset here. All right, there we are. Okay. Yeah, good. All right, then. So, um, yeah, all right then. <laughs> uh, rock lobster, it's a real lobster, a thing that really exists, right? Uh, yeah, there's rock lobster, sure. Right, so it's not like a fake thing. And, and then, Oh, uh, that was Slim Jim. I thought that was freaking Sock Puppet ass. Oh, my God. I saw the ass, I'm like, and, sock, uh, puppet doesn't, sock Puppet would know what a rock lobster is. Come on. And and then there's the a rock lobster. <laughs> Which, which you only don't understand if if you uh, watch that Family Guy show. Yeah. yeah Peter singing about the Iraq lobster. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't really watch this show. I, I oh, it's that, I'm that's like that's it for a, a little bit, but it's like a really really old one, you know, from. Oh, okay. Like in, an original, like an well, old yeah, one. Well, yeah, back in their early seasons, you know. <laughs> yes, I know Rock Lobster is a B-52 song, but Rock Lobster really does exist in the world. Like, it's a real thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Right.
What? 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 Um, I'm just uh, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Anyway, that's all good. I have a bookmark. I have some bookmarks. Okay. Okay, so the first well, wait, thing wait, I wait, 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 about, wait, 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 no, 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 go ahead. <laughs> I didn't know you were ready to go into a story. Oh, no, go do your story. Go ahead. No, I, I, no, 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 go ahead. What well, you well I, I was thinking that uh, this will be better. The story okay. I have will be better right before the next set. Okay, that's fine if you want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Right before the next set so yeah. I can do a story. Or two. Or three. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so one winter I went to look in the air filter of the edge and it was like in May or something or April, right? Okay. And I look in the air filter compartment and there's evidence that a mouse mice had been in there. Because there was you can tell, right? Because there's like fucked up shit in there. There's like insulation and all this kind of weird like they made a nest in there, right? Uh huh. And so I kind of freaked out because I'm like, what the fuck? How do mice get into the car? You know, I know why they go into the car, the engine compartment, is because it's warm in there. And plus my car is in the garage, so it's warmer than the outside, right? Yeah. So anyway, I was looking in my glove compartment the other day, and I keep some napkins in there that I get from wherever, you know, quick trip or whatever. You know, I just throw extra napkins in the glove compartment, you know? Sure, sure. So anyway, I... uh. I look in there, and I realize that these napkins are all fucked up, and they're all kind of, like, shredded. Like, not badly, like, not completely obliterated, but shredded enough to be, like, oh, okay, there was a fucking mouse in my goddamn glove compartment, right? Right. So it's freaking me out, because I'm like, well, what the hell? How do we... Because I was talking to... Chanting with, in the chat room last night, and uh, Mike says, oh, they use soy to make the coating for the wires. Okay. Which I had no idea that apparently the new thing is they're using soy for the outer coating of the wires, right? Uh, all right. Well, then that means these little critters, they like, it's made out of a food material, a plant material, right? They're going to fucking chew on it. Uh, and so you hear these stories about people that have like electrical issues with their vehicle or whatever. It could be from mice chewing the wires. Like, this is not something you think about normally, right? Right. It's really only, It really will only happen mostly is if you have a vehicle in a garage where it's warmer than the outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mice can be very destructive to vehicles. Like, if they can get into your wiring and chew up the wiring of your oh. vehicle, that is not good, dude. Oh, listen, listen, listen here. Okay. Uh, posted on how to prevent mice, mice from eating wires dot com. Okay. Car mm -hmm. wires. <laughs> it's it's really a website dedicated to mice eating wires. Oh, that's the that's the domain. How to prevent. Oh my rats, god. <laughs> how, how to how to prevent rats from eating car wires so This com, is a real thing, people. Dot, dot okay. com. Uh, right. So, does your car have soy based wiring? Since the early two thousands, car manufacturers began using bioplastics, e.g., soy soy based wiring, in cars. Uh, they state their reasoning was an effort to reduce dependency on petroleum and go green. In reality, bioplastics are cheaper to produce. Uh, it is very common nowadays in newer cars to have wires coated in soy-based yes. soy bioplastics. This has led to a surge of issues with wildlife, particularly rodents. Right. Rodents being attracted to wires for consumption. Hello, it's not, food to them. Not only are the rodents attracted to the cars for shelter, but also for food. Hello. <laughs> I'll give you the link, but <laughs> yeah, kinda, please do. Uh, kind of funny. So anyway, I was talking to somebody, a friend of mine, and they recommended getting an ultrasonic. And even if this works in your house, but they make them for cars as well. So how this thing works, apparently, is it emits this sound that people can't hear, and mice can, and they they will not, they it, they, it drives them nuts, so they won't be around it. So anyway, if you look at the one picture, this hooks up to your battery cables, you know, the terminals, 
and then apparently it's got a battery in it too. So when the car's off, which is when they come into your vehicle, the thing's still running, right? Yeah. Apparently. But I I don't know exactly how it works. I didn't do a lot of research on it, but um, it emits a combination of ultrasounds and LED flashlights to detour pesky animals entering your vehicle. You you hook it up to the battery, you know. Yeah. But I'm gonna do it because you know when you have an expense or a, a nicer vehicle or a newer vehicle, which I'm sure my Hyundai has a soy wiring, right? You know, but maybe they make it, they put it in a compartment where it's not accessible. Maybe it's enclosed somewhere where they can't get to it. Yeah, it don't sound like it. <laughs> which I would hope, but yeah. I mean, and Matt's been having electrical issues with his car, and maybe that's why, you know? Yeah. Well, so the other day... Which car is this? Okay, so I, the Edge was the one we found evidence, like a couple of years ago, we found evidence of mice being in the air filter compartment. So now I find evidence of a mice being in my glove compartment in my Hyundai. Okay. Okay. Well, they do list Hyundai. I don't. I don't see Edge listed here, but uh, the 2013 through 2016 Santa Fe. I have a 2015 Santa Fe. Okay. So then you definitely have the soy wiring in yes. there. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Separately, reports have been seen of every large car manufacturer, right. including Ford. Even older cars, because older cars are more susceptible. Because well. It doesn't have the soy wiring, but they still like to chew shit. They like to chew wiring. Sure. Rodents chew shit because they have those front teeth that keep growing. They have to constantly chew something. Oh, yeah, it's nesting material, Seriously. you know. What? It's nesting material, too. Yeah, yeah, it's nesting material. And so that's what they were using my, my air filter compartment for on the edge was a nest. <laughs> like, they, it was warm in there, right? You know, so they're like, oh, this is a good spot. You know, <laughs> really? <laughs> Anyway, that, that article has some ways to prevent rats from eating your car wires. Did I link the, the tool? Okay, yeah, yeah, I linked the... I mean, that's just one that I found just doing a quick search on Amazon. There could be better ones out there. I don't know. But I think it's really cool that they made this thing because it is a real problem. Yeah. I mean, you don't want mice in your vehicle or in your engine compartment chewing wiring. It's just not a good thing. <laughs> no, you don't want that. <laughs> no, and so it's worth it to me. I mean, it's, for this one, it's twenty twenty two ninety eight each. You can buy a two-pack, but I have three vehicles here. I told Matt I'd get him one for his vehicle, you know. Yeah. I mean, $23 compared to what it's going to cost you at the shop to get your car rewired or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it's – maybe you can find cheaper ones out there. I don't, Like I said, that was just a quick search at this point. But I'm going to um, definitely get some of these because and I think it's it's worse if you have a garage because – it's warmer in the garage than it is outside. I live in Wisconsin, so, it, you know, they, they want warmth. That's why they're going into garages and going into your car, because you drive it in there, you leave it sit. It's still warm once you turn it off. It's still warm for a while, right? Ooh, bet, so bet. They, they, they sense that warmth, and they come in there, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is cool, you know. Bet Beth Hart liked my, my liked my happy birthday tweet. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, she's a cool lady. I like Beth Hart. She's babe. Babe. Yeah, but anyway, I think it's a, it's a good idea. It's not something that people would think about. That's why, like, I just learned about this. Like, oh yeah, you know, because it freaked me out that there was a mouse in my glove compartment. I mean, come on, that's just that's that's close to being in the interior of my vehicle. I do not want that. Yeah, a mouse would fuck up the interior of a vehicle too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They'd shit all over in there. That you know what I mean? Ew, it's gross. Mice are gross. They, they are. They are filthy. I mean, little, they're needed. They, they feed birds. Birds eat meat mice. I love. I love <laughs> mice. Need to exist, but you do not want them living with you. <laughs> you just don't. Or in your vehicle, eating your wiring. You don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a need for mice. I'm not saying get rid of mice. That's not what I'm saying. Oh yeah, no. You know, mice are mice are good to have for. Lots of lots of predators like mice. Yes, like birds, birds of prey, eagles, hawks, owls, fox, cetera, foxes, foxes, yeah. and coyotes, what? and foxes and yes, coyotes. Yes, yes, cats. Cats, yeah, all kinds of yeah critters like to eat. Meat. Yeah, I mean you need it's a food chain, it's a cycle. <laughs> you know. Yeah. 
anyway, that was one thing I just wanted to mention because it wasn't something I really thought about, you know. But, you know, then I learned that there's soy in the wiring, which makes the wiring even more attractive to these things. You know, yeah, I, I, had, I had no idea. I had no idea. So you learn something new every day. It's like, yeah. wow. I had no idea they were using bioplastic, which includes soy. I had no idea, you know. Yeah. So. It must be cheaper for them. To, to make what, but they didn't they didn't think it out all the way through. They're, oh, uh, mice are gonna want to get in there and eat this shit. <sighs> yeah, yeah. That, anyway. my, my my last house, the one I lived in, Oceanside, out there in uh-huh. California. There was there was some rats in there, and when I moved in, and boy, they were tough to get rid of. The rat rats are very smart. Yes, they are very. Yeah. I finally got rid of them with the... Uh, okay. I mean, you're talking actual rats, though, not rats. Rats, rats, rats. are freaking big, dude. They're well, huge. Uh, they they weren't... They they were not smarter than glue traps. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure not. That's what they used to catch bats, too, but it's illegal. They actually had to live catch bats now. Because yeah. it's illegal to kill them. Yeah, that was uh, from the, the people that, that I bought the house from. They were, I guess... Not clean. <laughs> right, so they left a lot of garbage and shit around. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, right. track the rats, you bet. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway oh, go ahead. Yeah, you, 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 you go. Um, I was was not here last weekend because I went to my little mini festival at a hotel last weekend. Right. But so I saved this article. This is from January tenth, twenty twenty. This is from the Twi- uh, Pioneer Press, TwinCities dot com. Okay. And Twin Cities is Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Right. And Woodbury is, okay, so I live kind of toward on the western, in the western part of Wisconsin. So I'm really like 90 miles. If I go 90 miles east on 94, or west on 94, I mean, I'll be in Minnesota and I'll be in the Twin Cities. Okay? I'm 90 miles away from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Okay. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um... So we go there shopping a lot and to restaurants there a lot because you know it's just there's a lot of shopping centers there. It's a big hub, right, for shopping and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, they declared an emergency uh, after pollution knocks out of six of the city's 19 wells, five million needed for filtering plants. Gross. Woodbury has declared an emergency because six of the city's 19 water wells are contaminated with chemicals made by the 3M company. And 3M is a Minneapolis-based or a Minnesota-based company. They make tape. They make all kinds of shit. Anyway, uh, Woodbury is pretty big. It's a suburb of St. Paul. And there's a, there's some areas of Woodbury that the homes are they start at three hundred thousand and go up from there, right? Yeah. So this is in the bad area. This is a you know pretty nice suburb actually. Okay. Anyway, the declaration made by unanimous vote Wednesday of the city council will allow the city to obtain about $5 million to build a temporary plant to filter out the pollution. The city water remains, as always, safe to drink. That's what they say. Okay, how do they... Uh, uh, this is not safe to drink, people. You know, this is a lie, Okay. How do they say? Oh, the water is contaminated, but it's safe to drink. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the city remain water remains as always safe to drink. No, dude, not as always. According to Woodbury Utilities Manor, Manager Jim Westerman, okay. but with six of the wells shut down by the pollution, the city will not be able to meet the anticipated summertime demand for water. The pollution will might knock out a seventh well said Westerman. The pollution levels in that well are within safety standards for now, but have been recently increasing. That one is a moving target, said Westerman. The emergency declaration is needed for the city to obtain the funds, break ground on the project, and complete it by summer. The money will be provided by three be provided by three M and state agencies, he said. City spokesman Jason Eggerson Eggerstrom said the Woodbury plant would be similar to a temporary field Filtration plant built in Cottage Grove, another city affected by the pollution. So, okay, I'm, I'm not, I, it's not that long of an article, but so 3M is a Minneapolis-based company. They've been allowed 
to be doing this for a while. This isn't even the best article from, um, I'd have to look up some more articles, but apparently this has been going on for a long time. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. I should have read it. Um, in 2004, traces of the chemicals were discovered in drinking water of about 60,000 people in the area. In large doses, the chemicals have been shown to cause birth defects, thyroid problems, and cancer in laboratory animals. Traces of the chemicals measured in parts per trillion have been found in people and animals around the world. In 2018, 3M agreed to pay $850 million to settle a suit by the state attorney general who said the chem- chemicals had damaged the environment. You think? <laughs> I would be pissed. If I lived in Woodbury, I would be so fucking pissed right now. It, 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 seriously, even in Cottage Grove. Anywhere around the 3M area, 3M facilities, you're fucked, dude. Yeah. You know? I mean, they've been allowed to get away with polluting the fucking planet and the state of Minnesota for a long fucking time. Right. You know, and this is ridiculous. And now this just comes out. Oh, by the way, this has been going on for 30 years. You know, it's like, really? Mm-hmm. I mean... Oh my god. I mean to me it's shocking. To me not not really super shocking because I know that companies, major companies are allowed to pollute to a certain level. Well, 3M's got to be the biggest. Or, oh, they got to be one of the worst. Well, I mean one of the biggest companies that are, you know, supplying, right. you know, employment and and tax it's revenue in, and all they're based in Minnesota, in St. Paul, Minnesota. Right. right. So so they they've got to be one of the biggest companies there that are uh benefiting Minnesota. Right. Even even as they're uh, causing Polluting problems. Polluting the state. Yeah. Right. It's so, like... So they're going to have a lot of leeway. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, this is ridiculous. If I was a citizen of... I mean, even just a, being a citizen of the state of Minnesota, yeah. I'd be fucking pissed at 3M. Right, right. You know, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you have... It's not just them. It's, a, it's the EPA... Of allows course. a certain amount these companies to pollute a little bit, like a certain amount. It's right. like why even let them do it any amount? Like what the fuck? This is why we have such a problem with brain tumors and shit. Well, that's People one of the problems. People dying. They don't know they're drinking this stuff. They don't know this stuff's in their water. Of course not. They don't know, and they're just drinking it like it's fine, you yeah. know. And, and then you know, cancer skyrockets. And everyone's clueless because they're not told. Oh, yeah. you got to filter your water, man. It's... Right. They're not told this stuff. They're not told. It, it, it's so insidious. It is. How they operate. How government and federal government, state government, your city government, it, 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 it's the same shit. Absolutely. It's the same shit. Yeah. yeah. Got a link for that? Uh, yeah, I do. Yep, hang on. There was other articles on it that was just the one I bookmarked. So, I mean, this is the problem. You know, people, it's obvious to me, at my age, you know, 50 plus years old, mm-hmm. that they want people to fucking have cancer. Sure. They want you to fucking have cancer. Yeah, oh yeah. Because it's fucking money, honey. Yeah. You know, the treatment, which is archaic and barbaric, makes people a lot of fucking money. Oh, yeah. In my friend's case that had the uh, geolomoblastoma uh, brain tumor terminal from the get-go, right? they still did chemo on her. Yeah. You know, it's like she's going to fucking die. Why why make her death agony? Cuz they putting do. her That's on chemo. When you, you you know she's terminal. It, it, that made no sense to me. But anyway, that's not about that. It's not about this. It's just they want you to have fucking cancer. Yeah. That's why they allow it because it's money. Right. They make money off your illness. They make money off your... They profit off you and your loved one's cancer. And that's disgusting. 
that is absolutely beyond anything I can fathom. Like, how how can you do that? Yeah, I don't know. You know, you know, and they know that there's certain things out there that will help and cure cancer. Sure. But they don't talk about that. Oh, no. no. They don't want you to know about that. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> they want you to fucking keep doing radiation and chemo and keep getting cancer and keep making the the medical establishment money. Oh, yeah. You know? Yep. Keep fucking paying that oncologist that's making fucking unbelievable amounts of money. Absolutely. And fucking going on vacations four times a year or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know, profiting, profiting off your loved one's illness. And you know what they're doing on vacation? Smoking fucking weed. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, how asinine or idi- oxymoronic is that? Yeah, it's, it's, you know? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like... Fuck you, bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, you fucking assholes. Yeah. And here I live in, you know, I'm from Minnesota and I live in Wisconsin. Yeah. And Michigan, recreation's le- recreational is legal. Yeah, baby. Illinois, recreation is, recreational is legal. Yeah. I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> nada. Nada. Even Minnesota has medical. I mean, yeah. they're still behind the times, too, but they're better than Wisconsin. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. You know, you wonder why, you know, you get these fucking motherfuckers that want to be in politics and shit, but most of the time it's because they're fucking narcissists. Right. And it's all about them, and they want their attention whores, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, and they're easy to be a politician when you're a narcissist because, you know what, one of the traits of narcissist, narcissism is... I do not. Pathological liar. Oh, yeah. Well, really. Pathological lying. Sure, sure. So, perfect fit for a pol- narcissist to become a politician. Because no they have no empathy. They can lie, blatantly, bald face lie to you, and you will not detect it. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. No, yeah. So, where's that link? Did you give me that link? What link? For that story. The one you were just sharing. Yes. Where? I posted it. I'm not seeing it. Woodbury one. SLC Mike posted one. The the white bear the the water one. SLC Mike posted one. Where? <laughs> In the chat. Oh, that one. I thought I posted that. Is that the same one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I was waiting for yours. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for the confusion there. Anyway, um, All right. thank you, Mike, for saving my ass. Apparently, <laughs> um, oh man, uh, I think that's the same article. All right. Well, it's good enough, close enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, and, and there's a lot of lakes in Minnesota. Period. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. Okay. Wisconsin's fucking lame yes. when it comes to cannabis. They are. I mean, I know there's other states that are probably worse, like Nevada. No, Nevada's got legal weed now. Really? Yeah. What? I, how many states is it now? Well, hopefully it'll be one more really soon. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, New Mexico's on the ballot, right? Yeah, well, no, it's not going to be on the ballot. They're, they're, uh, oh, oh, oh. The, uh, they're just trying to like the, le- the, the, board the, just... the legislature is in session. The, oh, gov- okay. the governor is pushing very hard for the bill for the legalized marijuana. Good, you but know from, why? But but from what I read, there's mm-hmm. they wouldn't allow any growing of your own. So fuck them. See that's bullshit. So fuck em. Yeah. See at least Michigan, you can grow like twenty plants. Even before it went to recreational legal, you could grow twenty yeah. plants for your own personal okay. use. Okay. Well, those those are the draft bills that were. That were submitted prior to the session, so we'll see what happens. But I don't, I, I, it's stupid to, to not allow people to grow it. Anyway. Yes, I mean, it, it, I, it, yeah. why? Why? I, yeah, it's I'm not, not I'm really. Not, I have I have no interest in the, in their weed. Only if I can grow my exactly. own. Exactly. 
Right. So anyway, um there it is. I thought I posted it, but uh, okay, uh, that works. They're, saying, uh, they're, they're, they're fine. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, tonight at mm-hmm. midnight, mm-hmm. as many of you know, the uh, first of January was the start of 2020. It was New New Year's Day, but tonight at midnight is the beginning of year 4717. Did you know that? 4717. Happy 4717, y'all. What's that mean? <laughs> it's it's the, the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year. Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this, this year, starting tonight at midnight, will be the year of the white metal rat. Ooh, white metal rat. A white metal rat. Yeah, okay. I, I, I wasn't even aware that there was colors, but there are colors. Now, I... I'm a metal rat. Ooh, so, so this, it's your year, this, dude. This will be my year. So according to this our, uh, this uh, posting here on, on ChineseFortuneCalendar.com, Fortune, Fortune the 2020 Chinese New Year Day is on Saturday, January 25th, 2020. All in, right. In, China, wow. in China's time zone. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, I guess it's probably already that. Thursday is the moon day of the first Chinese lunar year, and by the way, it is a new moon. Uh, right now, uh, in the Chinese lunar calendar system, the exact moon time is 543, uh, 2020-0125 China time zone. Anyway, China, Chinese New Year 2020 animal sign is the white rat. Chinese calendar uh, combines solar, lunar, and 60 stem branch counting system. The 60 stem branch calendar uses the names of yin, yang, five elements, metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. And 12 animals to rank the sequences. Five elements are connected to five colors, white, black, green, red, and brown. So the Chinese use the color animal uh, name to count the year. The name of 2020 is the white metal rat. Uh, white is connected to metal. Therefore, 2020 is called the white, white metal rat year. The first, it's it's Grimm's year. It's my year, goddamn right. It uh, is, you're right, dude. <laughs> the first the first day of the white rat year is not the Chinese New Year Day in Chinese astrology. The first day of the Tiger Month is the first day of the Chinese astrology year. Uh, this day is called the start of spring, uh, which is the date when the sun enters the 315th degree on the tropical zodiac. That day is around February 4th. Uh, of the year, so the Chinese, the 2020 Chinese White Rat Year starts on February 4th, 2020, on the Chinese time zone. Are you getting all this? Is this making sense? All right. Yep. <laughs> that means Chinese Lunar Year is not the first day of the White Rat Year. Uh, if a baby is born before four, February 4th, 2020, the baby, uh, the baby's zodiac sign is pig, not rat. So if you, okay. if you have a baby today up into to the 4th of February, which is another 10 days or so, 12 days, uh, then he's a pig. <laughs> and after, okay. after, after that, he'll be the, he'll, he'll be the rat. Uh, so, so the new moon determines how the new moon da- uh, determines the new moon date. Uh, the, the moon time is uh, da, 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 whatever. Uh, here it is. How old is China? The Chinese believe the first king of China was the Yellow King. He was not the first emperor of China. The Yellow King uh, became king in 2697 B.C. (laughs) on your Julian calendar. Uh, Therefore, China uh, will enter the 4717th year on Saturday, today, or tomorrow, depending on where you are, January 25th, 2020. Also, the Chinese year uses the 60s. Yeah, I already mentioned all that. Anyway, um, so it's going to be the, the, the metal rat year. Nice. And and it's it's New Year's Day for you all. Cool. Yeah. So, um, being it's... Happy New Year. <laughs> be, being it's New Year's Day, let's do... Well, there's whoop, gonna be a break. <laughs> let's not do that. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. Yeah.
Yes, indeed. The one, the only, Joe Bonamassa. Singing, you better watch yourself live at the Beacon Theater there. Yeah, that's great stuff, man. Uh, before that, a moose girl request there. Midnight Rider with Vince Gill, Greg Almond, and Zach Brown. And we kicked it off. Happy New Year, Joe! Yes, indeed. ACDC, Happy New Year. Have a drink on me. Y'all? <laughs> Uh, all you all. All y'all. Have a drink on me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's good, good. That's good. That's good tunage there. I don't care who y'all are. No doubt. <laughs> oh, man. No doubt about it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, so we got a new guy there, the man, the legend. Oh, wow. That's, wow. He graced us with his presence. Well, apparently. at least he purports to be new. He could be old. Right. You know, I mean, someone that just comes right out and says, you know, I mean, you got to have balls to have that as your nickname. I mean, uh, seriously. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. That's a lot to back up there. you got to be able to prove yourself all the time. Like, <laughs> Either way, welcome. That, that would be hard, you know, to put yourself up in a pedestal. It's so hard to live up to that because if you fuck up at all, like in the littlest way, you're going to feel fucking like shit. Well, e either way, welcome the man, the legend. Our failure. Yes. <laughs> to RLM. Yeah. Real Liberty Media, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, this being the uh, Chinese New Year, it may, yeah. not, it may not be that great of a year for them. It may not be. Because. I'm gathering that. <laughs> because and okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, because of this this uh, this uh, outbreak uh, of the uh, corona virus that's out there. Yes. Um, but let me tell you before we get into that, I want to just share this with you for anybody that may have been unawares of such stuff. Because, well, apparently. Oh my God. What? Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, be, because it, it seems to be a recurring theme. Posted here on philnews.ph. Okay. 1720 plague. 1820 color outbreak. 1920 bubonic plague. What's, ah, what's, I, I, I sense a trend. What's next? Well, 2020, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. coincidence or pattern? Uh, pattern. Pa pandemic outbreaks. Amidst the escalating outbreak of the new coronavirus from Wuhan, China, or Wuhan, -ha -ha China, um, <laughs> <laughs> some netizens believe that plagues throughout history, starting from the 1720 plague, holds a pattern. However, did history truly repeat itself? The theory goes like this. In 1720, the Great Plague of Marseille. This was the last significant European outbreak of the bubonic plague. It killed a total of 100,000 people in the city of Marseille, France. 1820, wow. the, first, 1820 the first cholera epidemic, or pandemic. Uh, the 1820 cholera had spread to Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines on the islands of Java alone. The outbreak caused the death of 100,000 people. 1920, actually 1918 through 1920, but whatever. They're, they're stretching it to 1920. <laughs> the Spanish flu. Uh, the world was faced with the influenza pandemic. It would be the first of two pandemics to involve the H1N1 influenza virus. The virus had massive reach, infecting 500 million people around the world, according to Wikipedia, which... Wow, there's that's a, a lot of people. Yeah. 500 million people. Uh, the death toll, oh. the, but that that's how many infected. The death toll was oh, up, okay. up to 100 million. Still, yeah, still, that's a lot. Still a lot of people, making it one of the deadliest in human history. So what's going to happen in 2020? Shh. It seemed like the pattern for the deadly pandemic outbreaks occurs every 100 years. In Wuhan, China, the outbreak of the new deadly strain of the coronavirus was running rampant in a matter in a matter of days. The number of infected people tripled. The death toll continues to rise. The novel coronavirus, or better known as the Wuhan coronavirus, is still being studied. Health authorities are on a race to contain the virus, 
and ordered the Wuhan to suspend all outbound public transport. Uh, Though some of the circumstances of the outbreaks are different, one of the most common variables is how the outbreaks were spread, infected animals and bacteria. The bubonic plague was spread by infected fleas carried by small animals. It could also be transmitted through exposure to the bodily fluids from a dead plague-infected animal. The cholera outbreak was caused by the Vibrio chlorea bacteria found in somewhat salty and warm waters. Humans get infected after drinking liquids or eating foods contaminated with the bacteria. Meanwhile, the Spanish flu was caused by an unusually deadly strain of avia, avian influenza or bird flu. The novel coronavirus is also believed to have been caused by consuming an infected animal brought from a seafood bought from a seafood market in Wuhan, China. What's more concerning is that yes. the, the Chinese New Year's holidays are about to begin. Yes, they are. Woohoo! Shoot off the fireworks. Uh, during this time, millions oh, they're canceling all their millions their... of Chinese travel both domestically and internationally, increasing risk of the spread of the virus. However, the World Health Organization, the, the WHO, oh, the infamous WHO, had yet to declare the virus as a public health emergency. Uh, now, this article was posted. Is there a date on here? Uh, yesterday, yesterday. So. Um, Anyway, there's that for you. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so what has disgusted me, and I saw this the other day, and it was like watching a train wreck. Like, I couldn't believe this. So I looked at the story, and it, it it's freaky. Okay, okay, I don't get what's up with China, I mean, Asian food. Like, I like American Asian food. And I like some Thai food. But... Asians have some weird taste. Taste. I don't know. And I'm not trying to. Be, I'm not being <laughs> racist here. I'm just saying they eat different food than we do, right? Oh. <laughs> you have you ever had Vietnamese food? Oh yeah. Oh, fish. I've had Thai food. I've had Vietnamese food. But you know, in America, Graham, it's not like the real. I mean, it's it's it, it, unless you go to a real authentic place. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking You're about. You're not getting real Chinese or real Thai. Or real, you know I mean? Oh, I, I've, I've been to real Vietnamese places. Okay. This guy I used to work for, he took me there. And, so uh, this took the cake for me, though. I think this is fake. I think this story is, I don't think they really do this there. I don't know if they do or not. Uh-huh. But I'm going to post the link. And there's pictures on this link, and you should post one of the pictures. I mean... Put up one of the pictures? Yeah. Right. Of the fucking fried bat. Oh. The lady is eating a fucking bat. <laughs> Show one of the pictures. I mean, it's a fucking big bat. They're, well, they do eat bat. Ew. So they're linking this coronavirus to bats or snakes. Apparently, they eat snake, too. And I get it, you know, it's different culture, it's different food taste, it's, I get it. But look at the picture of that, oh my god, it, they they keep the head on it. Really? Hey, I, gotta, I, gotta edit my I could not, I, no, no, no way in hell am I eating the fucking goddamn bat. Yeah. No fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> I mean, I, look at the pictures. That bat is fucking big, and it's like look gritting its teeth at her, at them, at her. Like you can see that. Oh my god, that's just oh ooh. That that was like the freak out of the week for me. This story. <laughs> it, 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 can you even believe this is a real story? Apparently, yeah. Do they really? Do they? Yeah. Really oh yeah. Hey, let's, hey, let's let's watch the video. Okay. Fourteen seconds. Okay. Oh, they changed the size of it. All right. Anyway, there. All right, you can still see her. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-mm, good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, here's another 22 seconds. Look at that thing. Gnarly. 
Oh, that's just lovely. Okay, um, <laughs> that's terrific. <laughs> Most of you, are you still there? <laughs> oh my god, I muted. I was like, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. Yeah, you see, you see there's like a couple of beer cans in the background? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. have for me, drum to eat a goddamn bat. Yeah, it, can can it, you it, see it, the head and the face? Yeah, oh yeah, big old teeth. Oh my god. On. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Like, I, it really is disgusting to me, Graham. It, it, it's so dis Was that disgusting to you? Well, I don't. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't think I'd. I'd choose that as a, as a. No, <laughs> no. As my food, as my dinner. No, and she looked like she was enjoying it. Well, maybe, maybe like she maybe. picks it up like a piece of like a chicken. Oh, it's just the bat with the head still on. I can see the teeth. It's like smiling at me or something. They're growling at me. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? what? Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't, uh, to me, I don't even think that's a real story, like, but you're saying, you're telling me that you've heard that they eat that kind of stuff, right? Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, what is the appeal? Why Why would you eat bats? Because you're hungry and they're available. There's people hungry here, there's a, th a zillion bats in this country, and people don't eat bats. Well, maybe they would if they knew, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they they think that that those those bats are are linked to the or the, snakes. They aren't sure exactly what they're saying. Like you said in that article, it even said it's related to animal. Yeah, animal, Ozzy right? did, but he was crazy. He took the crazy train. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So here's here's the good news. <laughs> oh wait, maybe not. <laughs> from uh, <laughs> M-E-A-W-W dot com. Uh, Wuhan coronavirus. No vaccine or treatment yet for deadly infection. May take months to develop one. So the Nas National Institute for Health and other institutes are working towards developing a vaccine. Uh, those infected should receive supportive care to help relieve symptoms but there is no vaccine currently or specific treatment for the disease caused by the Wuhan coronavirus, even as China and other countries are stepping up their efforts to tackle the outbreak. Uh, no specific antiviral treatment recommended for the 2019 coronavirus. 2019? Wait a minute. Uh, infection. It says 2019 coronavirus here. Uh, infection. <laughs> People infected with the 2019 coronavirus should receive supportive care. Uh, according to the WHO, them again, uh, many of the symptoms caused by this virus can be treated, uh, and the treatment should be based on the symptoms of the patient. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID, a center for National Institutes of Health, the NIH, is working on developing a vaccine and start early stage human testing in three months. Now, if the death rate and infection rate keeps climbing as it is, there's going to be a lot of dead people before three months. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not a good thing. Yeah. So uh, coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that are known to cause illness in humans and animals. Um, I heard this could have been trans transmitted from some wild animal, too, besides eating animals, yeah. Oh, okay. In humans, this large family of viruses are known to cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to SARS. Uh, according to experts, experience, uh, experience with SARS is helping jumpstart the response for the Wuhan coronavirus. Uh, anyway, there's more about this, but uh, just beware, be aware that there is no cure, no vaccine no, nope. no. Uh, you get it, and you have a high probability of not surviving it. Right. Um, a beetle jokingly asks a question earlier there in the chat today. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, is there? Where, where's the pictures of the dead people laying, laying in the Chinese? Right. Space? And I brought up the article and I showed him. 
because there's an article showing people just dropping oh, dead. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw people, like, walking down the street and just dropping down to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Dro- dropping what? dead in the freaking what? road. Yeah, um, I mean, are we sure that's really going on? No, like, what, like, I'm so, like, weary. I, I don't know what to believe all the time. You know what I mean? Yep. You don't know what's real. According to Nature, the magazine, no drugs, no drugs have been shown to be effective in treating SARS or other coronavirus infections right. in humans. And SARS has been around for a long time. And no vaccines aimed at preventing these infections have been licensed. Right. So, uh... So. <laughs> the novel, or novel, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that, N-O-V-E-L, uh, novel, corona- novel. Is it novel coronavirus? Yeah. Termed, at ni- termed 2019 NCOV was first detected in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, China. Um, blah, 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 blah. So we didn't That's start... not a good well, thing. We didn't start hearing about it until recently so we i didn't know that that it was a a a 2019 virus i thought it was a 2020 virus but uh, that's what they said in the article but yeah well they somebody well there was that sars outbreak a couple of years ago right remember there was a sars yeah yeah oh sars have been around for a while yeah 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 yeah. for several years right um so, but over here in the good old U.S. of A., you got nothing to worry about, right? It's in uh, China. Well, uh, two people in the United States so far. Fox29.com. CDC investigating dozens of potential patients across 22 states as the second coronavirus case confirmed in the U.S. of A. So, 22 states, <laughs> dozens of people. So the CDC uh, said Friday it has confirmed the second case of the deadly coronavirus from China and is investigating dozens of potential patients across 22 United States of the United States, 22 states of the United States. Uh, The second confirmed case, a 60-year-old Chicago woman in the CDC said, now there's also supposed to be a high school guy somewhere down in Texas that's also uh, probably got it. Uh, yep. Anyway, so this woman returned uh, from a visit to the Chinese city of Wuhan on January 13th. I think the Texas guy, he's not listed here, uh, was uh, got infected in Mexico and came up. So yeah, there's that. And then, then of course, it's across Europe as well and other... Yeah, in, France and uh, J- J- Japan and um, uh, many of the Asian states. Um, so it's, it's out there, you know... Um, I, I I personally say, eh, just don't don't let it bother you. Don't don't lose. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying not to let it bother me. Don't don't lose no sleep over this shit. Right. I mean, it's a big story, and it sounds frightening. <laughs> but eh, what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do? Just uh, do your best to stay away from humans. It is my general advice for all times of your life. Stay away from other humans. Because humans are disgusting and disease carrying yes. disease carrying beings. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the more you, and they don't wash their hands properly. Good well, enough. whatever they don't do anything properly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're just bad. Just stay away from them. <laughs> You're a human, Grim. Oh, you are one of them. You are occupying a human vessel right now. But but in case you were unaware. Okay. Well, Did I what? mute? Did I mute? No. no. <laughs> okay. Now, now, in case you were unaware, and 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 maybe you are. I I don't know. Um, but in case you were, uh, you may be wondering where the hell did this virus just spring up out of nowhere? How did how did this happen? Well, it actually didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you familiar with Resident Evil, which was a video yeah. video game, Resident Evil, and a series of movies as well. Um, well actually, a series of video games and a, and a series of movies. Know about the Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> not, that right. that's, not that that's really important, except they include it here in the uh, headline of the article. The real Umbrella Corporation 
Wuhan Ultra Biohazard Lab was studying the world's most dangerous pathogens. Huh. Yeah, not that one, but seven Chinese cities, including Wuhan, ground zero of the coronavirus epidemic, and collectively housing some 23 million people are under quarantine, much more than that now. Comparisons to the infamous Raccoon City from Resident Evil are coming in hot and heavy. And since reality often tends to imitate, if not art, then certainly Hollywood, earlier today we jokingly asked if the Medical Research Institute at Wuhan University would end up being China's version of the Umbrella Corporation. As it turns out, it wasn't a joke! Because moments ago it was brought to our attention that in February 2017, the magazine Nature, penned an extensive profile of what it called the Chinese lab poised to study the world's most dangerous pathogens. The location of this BSL-4 rated lab? Why? Wuhan! A quick read of what this lab is meant to do prompts an immediate question of whether the coronavirus epidemic isn't a weaponized virus that just happened to escape the lab. Yep, the Wuhan lab cost about 300 million won, wow. or 44 million uh, U.S. dollars, and to allay safety concerns, it was built far above the floodplain and with the capacity to withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake, although the area has no history of strong quakes. It will focus on control of emerging diseases, store purified viruses, and act as the World Health Organization's reference laboratory linked to similar labs around the world. It will be a key node in the global biosafety lab network. The Chinese Academy of Sciences approved construction of the BSL-4 lab in 2003, and the epidemic of SARS around the same time lent the project, project momentum. The lab was designed and constructed with French assistance as a part of a 2004 cooperative agreement. Uh, the, the lab's first project will be to study the BSL-3 pathogen that causes the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Not a good one to be studying. A deadly oh. tick tick-borne virus that affects livestock across the world. Future plans include studying pathogens that include SARS, which is doesn't require BSL-4 lab, before moving on to Ebola and West African Lassa virus. Um, <laughs> Jeez. You, see, you can't make this shit up. Or, well, actually you can. I mean, if you ever re read uh, Stephen King's The Stand, uh, then you'll understand a, a lot of uh, what's uh, a possibility, a probability right. of, uh, going on here. Uh, the Daily Mail also posted a, an article uh, about this story yep. here. Um, yep. China built lab to study stars in Ebola in Wuhan. Uh, U.S. biosafety experts warned in right. 20... Someone leaked something. Uh, the, the, in, 27, in, in 2017, they warned that a virus could escape the facility that's becoming a, a key in fighting the outbreak. Uh, there's a lot of uh, the same information in this article, so I'll just give you a link to it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just sprung up there naturally, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Sure it did. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right, let's go back to some jams here. Um <laughs> Okay. We, we've been talking about this virus stuff. Happy New Year, China! Um, for a while, so. <laughs> All right. Oh. And um, once again, the question is, uh, where were you when this song was, well, almost number one? What year was it? You tell me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Billy motherfucking Strings and his band there for Moose Girl doing a Turmoil and a Tin Foil. Uh, before that, we had Steppenwolf from back in 1969 doing the Magic Carpet Ride and a Shocking Blue, also from 1969, doing Venus. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of really old ones and a couple of, or one brand new one there. So, uh, yeah, man, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Moose Girl. Uh, Billy Motherfucking Strings. That's his name. Don't wear it out. That is the band name, Billy Motherfucking Strings. <laughs> Don't forget it, people. You will not be disappointed. I'm yeah. saying the whole band's amazing. They're awesome. Billy Strings is a freaking guitar master. Well, no doubt His about name that. Is William Apostle. He's a real dude. Apostle. And he's really good. Apostle. Apostle. Like like like. Uh, a p o s t o l. Oh, okay. So not apostle. Apostle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. A little bit different, but. Yeah, um, one of the best bands I've seen in a long time. Great. Seriously, yeah, I mean, I seriously, I mean, I'm all, I'm gonna still love my dusters and my horseshoes and my pertner and my trampled. I was wondering if you're gonna. Bluegrass. I was wondering if you're gonna mention uh, trampled. You're, I mean, you, you got all these, you know. It was trampled. It was nothing but trampled for a long time. Exactly. You, it uh, was, dude. I watched <laughs> them since they first started. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and Pertnir. And Pertnir, I still stay in contact with them. I'm still seeing them. They, they're they the ones that put on Blue Ox. Oh, okay, great. I mean, they know me, dude. They know who the hell I am. They know yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Jay knows me. Kevin, they all know me. <laughs> 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 I saw them at Boats and Bluegrass. It was so fun, dude. Because there's they the, the bands that play there camp there all weekend, right? And they have these like picking jams where all these different players like join up and do these late night picking jams and stuff. Uh huh. It was a freaking blast, and they let me freaking sing. It was so awesome. It was so fun. I was just, and then you don't even talk to them about who they are. You know what I mean? You just like. Treat them like regular people, like because they are regular people, you know, that happen to be musicians. Right. But the, you know, they know who their friends are. I mean, Bolts and Bluegrass is so cool because it's the really hardcore people that are like really close with the musicians. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's 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 really such a cool festival because you're like partying with these guys. You know what I mean? You're partying with them, and they're, they're like. You know, they're the, being their normal selves. You know what I mean? They're yeah, not oh yeah. the musician. You know what I mean? Sure. They, I mean, and they really love that festival. I mean, the musicians love that festival because no one does the whole fan girl thing. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what, some people might do it like one time at one year at Boats and Bluegrass, which I've been going to like it's been 15 years of boats. I've gone to like nine or ten of them. Like uh -huh. seriously. I've been a majority of them. The one year at Bullets, I went up to Jay at the late night picking fire. I'm like, Jay. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I seriously, I'm like, nothing weird or anything, dude, but I just love you. <laughs> Groupies. Groupies. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I have my moments. I've had my moments, but. It's been 20 years, so now it's like nothing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, I can go up to Jay or Kevin, like, if I see them walking in the crowd at Blue Ox or something, I'll be like, oh, could you guys please play um, Appalachian Girl? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And they'll be like, yeah, man, we can maybe fit that in. Yeah, we'll or play whatever, that. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll play that for you. I mean, they, what I love about bands like that, you know, Horseshoes, Trample, Pertnir, even Billy Strings, even the Dusters, I mean, they appreciate their fans so fucking much. Oh, of like, course. They know that if they didn't have fucking fans, they would be nothing. You well, know, yeah, I, I mean, mean you know. they not... know that the fans is what drives, drives it, you know? Absolutely. Well, I mean, I don't yeah, I mean,. It's like a two-way street, though. Like, they put out good music. The fans love it. So, you know, they keep they keep them coming back. You know what I'm saying? Right, And that right. is hard to do. That is hard to do. Right. I mean, for any musician. Yeah. You know, and I'm just so proud of Trample and so proud of Pertnir that I can't even tell you. They're like my kids, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. They're like my fucking kids. Like, 
Oh, I've been watching them since they started, both of those bands. They started right around the same time. Right. We're talking like 20 years ago. Yeah. You know, I mean, seriously, I'm so proud of them. Look what Blue Ox has accomplished. I mean, yeah. Pertner has accomplished with putting on Blue Ox and everything and bringing that, that festival to life. Sure. It's going on the sixth year now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's terrific. It's freaking awesome. And Trampled, they have become almost a national act at this point. Oh, right. Yeah, seriously, they are seriously really huge, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just proud of them. I mean, it's it's cool because I can say that I saw them when they first fucking started, when they were just starting out. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, it's great. It's awesome, you know? Yeah. Cool. Same with horseshoes. I've been following them for since they started. You know, since yeah. they started, probably two years or three years after they started, I've been following horseshoes. Right. So we're talking about 10 years here, you know what I mean? Yeah, Blue Grass Girl, that's a yard. It is, oh yeah. And it, it, I don't know, you really have to love the music, like, but it's not just the music. It's the whole vibe, it's the whole, the way people are. Right. It's so hard to explain. It's just so, people are so nice, dude. They're so cool. It's like, it's so cool. It's just refreshing because you have to be around dickheads and assholes a lot of the time. Asshole drivers, you got to deal with that. Mm-hmm. You got to deal with stress all the time. Sure. It's just a way of, it's like my yoga, you know. Yeah. Bluegrass is like my yoga. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, I'm a dancer, I'm a singer, and it's just right up my alley. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, sure. Like, I'm not going to be no fucking opera singer or classical singer, but bluegrass, you don't have to be a perfect singer. You just got to be a fucking singer, you know? Right, you don't right. have to be, like, perfect. I know you don't. And that makes it so awesome. Like, anybody can fucking do it, right. you know? All you, gotta, all you gotta do is know how to play a washboard. Right. And, and have some rhythm. And you play. know, you got a little bit of rhythm in your soul, and you can fucking, yeah. Play you know, jug. I could do washboard, I could do tambourine, because I got rhythm, baby. You can play, the, you can play, you can play the jug. I could play them. Like no, because you got to like, no, no, I don't want to do the job. No. <laughs> That's a dude job. That's, no, I mean, there might be some women out there that want to do it, but I don't want to do the job. I'd rather do the tambourine or the washboard or something, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, the jug thing, you got to like blow into it. And stuff. Do, you could, no, no. Uh, you, could, you could be like that dude, uh, what band is he with? He stomps on the board. Uh, the cl- oh, I couldn't be a clogger, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> you have to be so in shape to be a clogger. Like I could never be. A- Even when I dance, when I dance, when I'm dancing, uh-huh. there is no way I could be a clogger. It is so hard. Like I'm too old to be a clogger. I could have been a clogger in my younger days. Oh, oh no. Okay. okay. But now, oh no. <laughs> it's it's like doing a fucking workout, Grim. Yeah. Yeah. Even dancing, I start sweating. Like it, like my motto is: if you do, if you leave us, if you don't leave a show sweating, it wasn't a good show. Oh, okay. That's my motto. All right. If you don't leave a show with sweat dripping off your brow, it wasn't a good show. I mean, depends on the type of music. But when you're talking like Billy Strings or Dusters or Horseshoes or Pertner or Trample, if you're not sweating. Then you are fucking lame. You're you're a wannabe, dude. It, it, it's not for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I got. I, I was going to do a story right now. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I I found this story, and this is from Madison three sixty five dot com. All right. It's based uh, out of Madison, Wisconsin. Right. This is from January twentieth, twenty twenty. Okay. <laughs> The headline is, the most dangerous thing about cannabis in Wisconsin is that it's illegal. Of course. Yeah. Illinois, our neighbor to the south, recently recently became the 14th U.S. state or territory to have legalized recreational cannabis sales for adults. On the first day of legal sales earlier this month, they raked in nearly, are you ready for it? I'm ready. The one day. 3.2 million. Nice. In recreational marijuana revenue. A month earlier, neighboring state Michigan became the first state in the Midwest to allow recreational marijuana sales, and budget planners for that state are projecting recreational marijuana become, to become a nearly $1 billion per year industry oh, beginning yeah. in the fiscal year 2021. Great. $1 billion. Okay. That's good stuff. 
So here we go. A total of 33 states have legalized cannabis for medical purposes, including neighboring state Minnesota. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's it, recreational far uh, away in Minnesota, okay? you got to go in your doctor and go through the hoops and go, I have anxiety, I need a cannabis prescription. Then you got to use their what their product, right? Right. The, the, what they give you. It's the state marijuana, right? Right. Which, like you said, Grim, let me grow my fucking own. Yeah. You know, come on, you know. Yeah. Absolutely, anyway. absolutely. Okay, anyway, Wisconsin residents in the north and south of the state have a very short drive for an over-the-counter purchase, although marijuana is still illegal here in the Badger State. Sunnyside Medical and Recreation of Cannabis Dispensary in Rockford, Illinois, is a quick one-hour car ride from the Wisconsin State Capitol Building. As marijuana reform, whether it's decriminalizing, legalizing medical marijuana, or legalizing full recreational becomes the new normal across the United States, the people of the state of Wisconsin have been watching closely. Democratic State Rep Melissa Sargent, outspoken proponent of legalization, has been one of those people. We were talking about a billion-dollar industry knocking on the doors of Wisconsin, she tells Madison 365. Uh, when you take into account the tax revenue that would be coming in and the money that we'd be saving through the criminal justice system, you take into account the money spent in the state that would be pot be positively impacting businesses and economic stimulus it goes into billion, the billions. I do think that the number does shrink a little bit as we become an as we become an island of prohibition in Wisconsin, she adds. If we were one of the first states in the Midwest and you had had a manufacturer and producer and they wanted to build a, build a facility here, it would happen in Wisconsin. But now they're more likely to build it on the border of Illinois or Michigan. No shit, dude. Yeah. But anyway, um, it fits right in what I was talking about earlier. Seriously, um, Minnesota and Wisconsin are behind the fucking times, unfortunately. Hugely. There's others, I mean, what was it? 14 states so far out of 50 are full recreational legal. The rest of the fuckers, we had to suffer and fucking, you know... Be worried about getting pulled over by a cop while I'm going from my dealer to my fucking home. You know? Right. And if, if they, you know, if they find an ounce on me, what, that's not a, is that a felony? Probably. I mean, really? It's like, come on. You yeah. know, how yeah. can you be busting me for this when you know damn well alcohol, meth, heroin, all that shit is way worse than this shit? Right. You know? Because it's so stinky. That's why, you know. Yeah. I mean, meth and hair, meth is stinky, too. Oh, sure it is. But it's like, come on, you motherfuckers, you know. <laughs> Don't you got worse things to worry about, like child abductions or child sexual assault or something? Or rape? The actual fucking crimes that people are fucking committing? I mean... Seriously, smoking a little bit of ganj isn't a fucking crime. Yeah. You know, having ganj on you should not be a fucking crime. Not at all. It's a fucking goddamn plant. Circle! You know what I mean? It's yeah. a fucking plant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Exactly. What the fuck? I... <laughs> I, okay. I get. It. I don't. I understand. Oh, I just get pissed off. I'm just like, really, what is the deal? Hey, I get it. I get it. But you may not have to I, worry. You may not have to worry about it for much uh, longer. Really? Okay. I hope you're right. I really do. Well, not for the reasons you would you would you would prefer. Oh, oh, great. Oh, so it's not a good thing. The bulletin of the atomic scientists. Oh God. Doomsday clock. Current time. 100 seconds to midnight. Yeah, right. I don't believe that crap. <laughs> go, Fuck it. Go, if it's my time to go, I'll just fucking go. I'm not even worried. I try not to dwell on it or worry about how I'm going to go, <laughs> when I'm going to go. It's just like, when it's my time, I will go. All right. Anyway, yeah, print... I mean, I don't... 
buy into this crap. No, I, well, I don't either. But uh, Prince and yeah. crew talked about this last night. Uh, I don't buy into not that. not in the way that I would, but they 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 talked about it last night uh, on the sh- on the Power Hour. Uh, but anyway, here it is. Uh, to leaders and citizens of the world, regarding closer than ever, it's 100 seconds to midnight, date January 23rd, 2020. Humanity continues to face two simultaneous existential dangers, nuclear war and, drumroll please, <laughs> climate change. <laughs> <laughs> that are compounded by a threat multiplier, cyber-enabled information warfare that undercut society's ability to respond. The international security situation is dire, not just because these threats exist, as if they do, uh, but because yeah. the world leaders um, have allowed the international political infrastructure for managing them to erode so, so somehow these bulletin of atomic scientists believe that nuclear war is kind of like right there. But climate really? change, climate change, that's the big one. Oh, oh God. it's a climate crisis. You, you dirty, filthy <laughs> humans, you are destroying the planet and you are a plague on this planet. You are going to ruin everything. Everybody will die because you ate a hamburger. <laughs> now I, I, I heard this guy he was on Coast to Coast uh, last night I think it was last night and uh, he he was one of these climate alarmist guys and but some kind of a weirdo scientist doctor kind of guy and some caller calls in and he's saying so you want everybody to become a vegan a vegan not just a vegetarian <laughs> not just a vegetarian but a vegan he says yeah damn right I do <laughs> he wants nobody to eat meat at all ever again anymore. None. Because because <laughs> yeah, you whatever, you eating a hamburger is going to cause the planet to just die. <laughs> just curl up and motherfucking die because you ate a hamburger or you had a leather belt or <laughs> whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> So they they talk in here wow. a bit, they, they talk in here a bit about the uh, nuclear arms uh, treaties that have people have stepped out of and said go to hell with that, and then they talk about the uh, uh, climate craziness treaties that people have backed away from, uh, or that other countries have uh, other countries uh, China India the big ones uh, that are the ma- massive polluters of the world. Um, and they and they still you know say oh it's carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is ruining everything and they're they're trying to keep selling yeah you that, right uh, uh, that 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 carbon dioxide is, is fear, gonna just, fear fear and, fear and it's nothing it, there's nothing it, it's it's absolute insanity and they and they ignore the real data uh, and and they go with the manufactured data out of East Anglia and <laughs> it's. It's insane. It's insane. So, so there's the article. You can read it for yourself. It's it's just oh so much. God. It's just so much nonsense. Um, uh, uh, that that yeah. Oh, we're a hundred seconds to. We can't even count this in in minutes or, or hours anymore. We have to count it in seconds now. <sighs> it was t- it was two minutes to midnight, which is a great song by Iron Maiden, but uh, not that two minutes to midnight. But now they've moved the clock. 20 seconds closer to midnight. Oh, I'm really? Yeah, so it's 100, se- 100 <laughs> seconds now. 100 seconds. And and ticking. It's ticking fast. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, fear, 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 fear. Oh, incredible. Incredible fear. Yeah, uh, just be very afraid. It, it, it's just, Whatever. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, 100 seconds to midnight, everybody should be afraid. But, uh, you know, in, in, the, in, in their... Um, I'm not afraid. I'm in, not. In, in, supporting, not. in supporting their view uh, in a manner, I... I, I, I <laughs> what? No, I don't laugh. I'm serious on this one. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I think, I think this needs to be done. Or it would be great for this to be done if everybody started using... Uh, this particular substance for uh, manufacturing of homes. 
And all kinds of other stuff too. Hemp, hempcrete. Hemp, hemp houses could be yes. green, could be greener, fire resistant, and built like Legos. It's sustainable, heat resistant, yes. humidity free, and carbon negative. <laughs> this is an older article. It's from uh, July of last year, but uh, that's all right. It, it holds true today. So all in all, all in all, Terry Radford's new product, with apologies to Pink Floyd, looks to be anything but another brick in the wall. Uh, that's that's because the president of Just Biofiber, based in Airedale, Alta, I don't know what that is, uh, believe it's probably a Canadian product, uh, believes it has come up with a hempcrete-based brick that is more than equal of the usual home building materials. Radford, president and CEO of Just Biofiber, says his company has found a way to combine hempcrete, the wooden core of the hemp plant, with lime and water to create a building block that he believes has the potential to change the way we build homes. And the product is... Wow, is, yeah, right. It is as environmentally friendly as it is user-friendly. Says his brother is the guy who actually invented the product. What happened is he started working with hempcrete and fell in love with the material because of the great properties. And they are Lego-looking bricks. You can just stack them up like Legos, and you got yourself a house. It's, it's fucking great, man. It's it's awesome. So uh, <laughs> right, yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, so uh, there 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 you go, man. Uh, for out of out of CBC, CBC Canada. There, so uh, um, yeah, man, it's terrific, and it's uh, highly insulative, and so you have less heating and cooling costs, and uh, just just so many so many great things about hemp. All the different things you could make with hemp, um, not to mention the plastic bags and plastic straws that are being banned everywhere. Make them out of hemp plastic. No shit. You know, you don't need to ban these things. Just quit using the freaking right. petroleum. Get rid of that petroleum shit, and uh, and everything will be cool. So uh, hempcrete, uh, or this whatever this hemp stuff is here, um, these hemp bricks, these hemp Lego bricks, man, just fucking great. And uh, I think I think this is the way to go, really. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right, we've been gonna... saying that for, we've been saying that since our first show. I know, I know. We've, we've been, been we... talking about ham since our first fucking show, man. We've been after it. We've been on it. Plywood. Twelve, ben, thirteen ben. years ago. No, we don't. Plywood is wood. All right. Yeah. Fuck plywood. Yeah. You need to cut down big trees for plywood. Yeah. All right. Fuck plywood. No. <laughs> okay. We like ham. Let's jam some more jams it's, here. Yeah, jam, it's jam. way better. Let's jam some more tunes here. Let's do that. Kick it off we'll with the cowboy. People, we will be back. Kick it off with a cowboy tech request. Whether you like it or not. Read these things, huh? Yippee! -i. The uh, <laughs> spider bait there. Uh, Hansel request covering uh, Ghost Riders in the sky from the, in the scenes from the movie Ghost Rider. Uh, thanks, Hansel. Yeah, before that we had Metallica, Master of Puppets, recorded at Little Rock, Arkansas, when? Four days, wait, a year and four days ago. Uh, either way, uh, you missed that. Little Rock, Arkansas there. Uh, 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 Vin E. and, and, and uh, Rob Works. Yeah, that was uh, right there. Well, Rob Works wasn't there yet, but Vinny was out there uh, in 2019, uh, January 2019. And we kicked it off there with the Cowboy Tech Request five-man electrical band doing signs for all you long-haired freaky people. <laughs> Excellent sign. Excellent song, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, am, I have longer hair, not to my ass or anything, but I got long hair. Yeah. I decided long hair is for me. Me too. Back, so I'm going to keep my long like, hair until the day I die. So. I, I, I decided long hair was for me in like the seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time when I got my my dad like wanted me to get my hair cut for some reason. Uh -huh. And so oh, I was like 12 or something. 
And I got my hair cut really super short, and I fucking bawled. I was so devastated. Like, I was totally devastated. Well, you know what happened. And then we yeah. go to a restaurant, me and my mom, like a little while later. Uh-huh. And the fucking waitress thought I was a fucking boy. <laughs> and I was devastated. I'm like, oh, what God. the fuck? I'm like, I will never have short hair again. Ever. You well, know? you know you know what happened uh, to me was, uh, was it going into first grade or second grade, I forget which. Uh, just mm -hmm. like the day before you were school. very young. <laughs> yeah, just before the, the day before school started, uh, my mom took me someplace and and got me a buzz cut. And uh, yeah, those are devastating. Those <sighs> could be devastating. I, I, so I went to school. I had this jacket with like a hood right, on. Right, yeah, the buzz cut. Yeah, right. I, w I wouldn't take the hood off. The teacher was all right because hey, hey. you were like, oh, but you didn't want to. No, it was horrible. It was right. horrible. <laughs> I'm sure, dude. This is back, what, in the late 60s or something? Uh, early 60s. Uh, early 60s. Well, well. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. It might have been 66, 67, somewhere there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But still. Oh yeah. My God. It, it was terrible, terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I, you know. <laughs> wow. That would suck, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously... These times were traumatizing to us because we remember them vividly. Yeah, yeah. And well, since, yeah. you know, that, that, that was the last. So that, that was the early start of being, us being rebels, Grim. That was the last time my, my hair like, was, was ever that short. Yeah, that's when I decided, that's it, I'm, right. I'm, I'm getting. Yep, I'm done with this shit. I'm, I'm not putting up with this uh, crap. I'm having long hair now. Yeah, so, I will have long hair now for the rest of my freaking life. Go, go, straight, to, go straight to hell, mother. <laughs> right, no shit, motherfucker. Well, you know, hair is strength. Hair is strength. You know the story about Samson and Delilah. Delilah, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. But hair is strength. Like to Native Americans, hair is strength. Yeah. And it, there's certain times of the month that you should get your hair cut as opposed to other times of the month that you shouldn't get your hair cut. Did you know that? I did not know that. Well, guess that's what? Kind of, guess, what? Guess, guess what? We don't have any time. I, I thought I had more time here. Oh, we don't. Oh, shit. It's all oh, crap. But, but yeah, I, but I, I, had, I had my last set set up, and and we need every oh, second. I will continue the story another time. Okay. <laughs> long hair, you long hair hippie. Long, long hair hippie freak. Long hair, long, long hair, sexy people. Okay, this is He's not apply. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good set here. All right, let's do it. Yes, and it is Samuel. Let's get it to it. Let's do it to it. Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson. Fucking right, motherfucker. From <laughs> so from the movie Black Snake Moan. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Bam Blam, indeed. That was a band called Soil. Uh, if you were watching the video, you knew that already. But if not, that's a band called Soil uh, doing Black Betty there. Very good version of it. I, a good hard rocket version. Before that, a Hansel request. The second one of the evening, the Wall of Voodoo in Mexican radio. Prior to that was Jen Wigmore and Hey Ho. One of the freakiest videos you'll ever see. And we kicked it off with Samuel L. Jackson singing Stack O' Lee from the movie Black Snake Bone with Christi oh, yeah. Christina Ricci uh, dancing there in the... Yeah. That's a, a, oh, yeah. She, she was fine looking in that film. For, oh, yeah. For a young gal. That was, that was probably her best work there. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, she's a good actress, though. I yeah. like her. Oh, she, she is a good actress, but... Uh, that was yeah, I like her a lot. That was, that was probably definitely her best movie. Yeah, she's pretty good in that. All right, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the dork table at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, uh, with Flash, somebody, and Miss Graham Z. Uh, I, yeah. will be, uh, I will be on Sunday morning at uh, the normal time, well, morning for me, but... Noon Eastern for you Eastern folk out there, um, and I'll be going on right up out to three, which is when Hal Anthony will be back this Sunday. He'll be back on the the uh, Behind the Woodshed program. Don't miss him. 
Uh, he, I'm sure he's got plenty to say about plenty of things that you might want to hear about. So check him out. Yeah. 3, 3 p.m. Eastern, Behind the Woodshed, open up the big old can of us. I will be back on Monday once again, and this time yep. I'll actually record it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, you forgot. <laughs> yeah, I messed oh, up. Oh, that sucks, dude. Sorry. Sorry, I mean, buddy. I messed up on Monday night. I forgot. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> so, but I'll record it this week. I promise. Really. Okay. Yeah, really. you'll remember. You'll remember. <laughs> all right. Check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com for all of the rest of the shows here on RLM Radio. And, um, bu- 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 anything else to tell you? Happy New Year. I don't know. Happy New Year! <laughs> um, it's like the third week of January, dude. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Chinese New Year now. Oh yeah, Chinese New Year. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Happy New Year! Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Year. It's your year, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Good I, things my, are gonna happen. I can feel it. Good things are gonna happen for uh, you. My my year actually starts on the fourth of February, but uh, that's that's the the lunar New Year or the or the what do you call it? Um. Astrological Chinese the astrological Chinese yes. astrological and lunar New Year, uh, but but this is the actual Chinese New Year today. Right, so, uh, right. Party, <laughs> party down, people. Rock on with your bad cells. All right, folks. Peace. Peace.